Smart devices live and die by interaction design. Hey, Gemini, um, what are my current habits? It doesn't matter how advanced the software is. If the interface isn't intuitive, the rest of your system is essentially irrelevant. Except the smoothie. A few weeks ago, I jailbroke my smart mirror. I swapped out the internal board for a Jetson Nano and built a Django-based dashboard connected to external resources like Notion and Google Calendar. The dashboard has been useful. I use it most mornings to help with my morning routine, but it requires a lot of manual input. A much easier way to interact with this would just be talking. Thank you. Um, can you get my task list? The hands-free nature of voice and the ability to communicate with unstructured language means that you don't really have to think about interface design if the interface can figure out what you mean. What are my events for tomorrow? Tomorrow is May. Large language models are excellent at extracting meaning from unstructured text, but they typically produce unstructured text. Function calling can standardize outputs and is supported in most LLM APIs, but it can be complex to integrate an existing API without some actual work. Model Context Protocol standardizes tools and interfaces for large language models, allowing you to transform a simple chatbot into an agent. There are many existing APIs that have defined their own MCP servers, but you can also build one yourself. There are many details to MCP, but two core concepts are tools and resources. Tools are callable functions, things a model can run with arguments like API calls or update operations. Resources are intended to represent databases, documents, or other semi-static content that the model can reference but not mutate directly. Prompts are also important and can streamline common use cases, but I like the fact that you can integrate all of your data and ask any question you want. Can you create a schedule for me tomorrow? Make any it's pretty straightforward to turn an existing API into an MCP server. I use the fast MCP server class, making everything a tool. Conceptually, my databases are more like resources, but it's simple to signal to the LLM that a tool contains data by naming it with the word get. I found that Gemini would often ask follow-up questions if it was unclear about parameter information, and naming data fields with conceptually relevant names was helpful. To make execution more transparent, I added a thought bubble at the top of the UI to see backend function calls and other useful information. To improve reliability, I added a confirmation decorator. Before executing a tool call that makes updates, it sends a description of the pending action to the front end and waits for user confirmation. Early in development, I built the entire app using web speech, which is based on JavaScript and native to the browser. It worked fine on Chrome, but on the Jetson, I'm using Firefox and web speech isn't supported. That's what pushed me to switch to Whisper. Whisper is OpenAI's speech to text model. If you use voice mode on ChatGPT, you already know how accurate it can be. Whisper is easy to set up. Just pip install OpenAI Whisper. You can then load a model with whisper.loadmodel and transcribe speed using model.transcribe. I have a Mac, so these models are running on CPU. The medium-sized model runs almost instantaneously, and even the tiny model had perfect accuracy and speeds of less than 0.2 seconds after warm-up. I did deploy Whisper on the Jetson. It can run on GPU, taking less than two seconds for the tiny and base models, but the small and medium models don't fit. Running on CPU takes some time, between eight and 30 seconds, depending on the model. This is absolutely unacceptable for an interactive application. The medium model can't even be loaded on CPU. Let me know if you have suggestions on alternatives to Whisper and web speech, but I've sunk too much time into this to look into it at this point. Another issue with the Jetson is its placement inside the mirror. While it gives the mirror a sleeker profile, I have to open it up whenever I want to make changes to the device that can't be done purely via the keyboard. This was pretty annoying when dealing with microphone input, so I decided to take the Jetson out and feed the HDMI out of the Ethernet port opening, removing the original mount. Honestly, this Jetson is probably not the best choice for the kinds of things I'm trying to do. This whole setup is still pretty buggy overall, but let me know what you think. Obviously, this is a personal app, so I was already pretty happy using it as a simple interactive dashboard, but voice just makes everything easier. Well, can you give me an affirmation to take me throughout the day? 